In the void is virtue and no evil. Wisdom has existence. Principle has existence. The way has existence. Spirit is nothingness. Welcome to Orion Philosophy, where we explore, discuss and dissect areas of practical philosophy for use in everyday life. Around the year 1645, martial artist and Japan's most renowned swordsman Miyamoto Musashi wrote the Book of Five Rings, a text revolving around Kenjutsu and martial arts. The book's profound philosophy on turning a pursuit into a way of life and understanding that when we become competent in one discipline, the skill carries over into all others, has led people to apply the book's teaching in almost all areas of life, all the way from martial arts to business and relationships. The simplicity of Musashi's approach is likely part of its success. He cast aside any frills and actions that have no practical purpose, focusing on that which gets us from A to B most effectively. In Musashi's case, he was concerned with cutting down his opponent as quickly as possible, while minimizing risk to himself. In a more modern application, this could be a business decision, a goal to run a marathon, or anything in between. The content of the book reflects the lessons Musashi taught his students in his own dojo. And while much of the work is adapted from other sources, Musashi adds his own interpretations and unique insight to make the Book of Five Rings a personal and unique body of work. Split into five smaller books, each book is dedicated to an element of battle and described as earth, water, fire, wind and the Book of the Void. The Book of Earth is Musashi's introduction to the way and outlines the strategy he teaches his students. Know the smallest thing and the biggest thing, the shallowest thing and the deepest thing, as if it were a straight road mapped out on the ground. These things cannot be explained in detail. From one thing, know 10,000 things. When you attain the way of strategy, there will not be one thing you cannot see. You must study hard. This strategy outlined in the Book of Earth is aimed at enabling his students to see the world clearly and then make the best decision for any given situation. For example, when to use various types of weapons based on the terrain and the available space. This requires not only the knowledge of how to use each weapon, but the where and the why. In the Book of Earth, Musashi also places importance on timing, writing, Timing is important in dancing and pipe or string music, for they are in rhythm only if timing is good. Timing and rhythm are also involved in military arts, shooting bows and guns and riding horses. In all skills and abilities, there is timing. There is timing in the whole life of the warrior, in his thriving and declining, in his harmony and discord. Similarly, there is timing in the way of the merchant, in the rise and fall of capital. All things entail rising and falling timing. You must be able to discern this. In strategy, there are various timing considerations. From the outset, you must know the applicable timing and the inapplicable timing. And from among the large and small things, and the fast and slow timings, find the relevant timing. First seeing the distance timing and the background timing. This is the main thing in strategy. It is especially important to know the background timing, otherwise your strategy will become uncertain. The Book of Earth ends with a list of nine principles, describing the foundation on which a person should be built, almost like Musashi's practical guide to building and maintaining character. These are, do not think dishonestly. The way is in training. Become acquainted with every art. Know the ways of all professions. Distinguish between gain and loss in worldly matters. Develop an intuitive judgment and understanding for everything. Perceive those things which cannot be seen. Pay attention even to trifles. Do nothing which is of no use. The second book, The Book of Water, concerns itself with the idea that water can be used as an analogy for the flow and adaptive nature of life. Water shifts to fit the container it's poured into, much like a person can learn to adapt to their surroundings rather than remain rigid and awkward. Unable to shift quickly between disciplines and thoughts when faced with changing information and circumstances. Musashi also promotes the need for spiritual balance, writing, In strategy, your spiritual bearing 
must not be any different from normal. Both in fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined through calm. Musashi teaches that a spirit in perfect balance is also a physical presence in perfect balance, a presence that does not create weakness in the individual, nor reveal weakness to the enemy. It's clear that Musashi places importance on maintaining your spiritual balance, especially during battle. The third book, The Book of Fire, is Musashi's focus on the methods of fighting. While the book doesn't provide any specific techniques, it does look at martial arts from a bird's eye view, instructing one to observe their surroundings, process the situation and act accordingly. He wrote, As one man can defeat ten men, so can one thousand men defeat ten thousand. However, you can become a master of strategy by training alone with the sword, so that you can understand the enemy's stratagems, his strength and resources, and come to appreciate how to apply strategy to beat ten thousand enemies. Musashi emphasizes the importance of positioning during battle, circling to the non-dominant side of your enemy, forcing your opponent into unfavorable ground, and trying to create uncertainty in them. He also explained that one's vision must be clear of obstruction and unblinded by sunlight and moonlight, as well as the importance of things like high ground. You must look down on the enemy and take up your attitude on slightly higher places. These things cannot be explained in words. You must research what is written here. This does not mean that you always attack first, but if the enemy attacks first, you can lead him around. In strategy, you have effectively won when you forestall the enemy, so you must train well to attain this. The Book of Wind is the fourth book in the Book of Five Rings. And to be honest, it's probably the least practical book in our modern day life. However, in the Book of Wind, Musashi warns of the over-reliance on one set of tools and the lack of flexibility that comes with this. He wrote, Some other schools have a liking for extra long swords. From the viewpoint of my strategy, these must be seen as weak schools. This is because they do not appreciate the principle of cutting the enemy by any means. This warning in the Book of Wind of over-reliance on one way can be applied to almost anything, and it's a good reminder for us to think and learn broadly. The final book in Musashi's Book of Five Rings is the Book of the Void. This is a short book that links the philosophies of that which we can see and know, and that which cannot be seen. Musashi wrote, By knowing things that exist, you can know that which does not exist. The book is about people learning to perceive that which cannot be seen or understood. This is targeting things like spirituality, and things that are based more on instinct than knowing. He further wrote, in the void is virtue and no evil. Wisdom has existence. Principle has existence. The way has existence. Spirit is nothingness. <laughs>